So, how could we ordinary souls of this world expect to attain happiness when the king of the celestial abodes, Indra himself, is unhappy? So Sri Maharaji makes it so easy for us to understand scriptural science. And he tells us that this world around us, this existence, is in fact made of material matter. It is made of material matter, whereas we, the soul, the soul is divine. And so any amount of material prosperity, wealth cannot satisfy the soul the divine soul it cannot no matter how much we think of how great worldly wealth may be even if we were offered the luxuries and the happiness and the joy and of the wealth of the entire earth planet even so our desire for more it will not cease so the more we get what happens? The greedier we become. And greed is like an open invitation for pride. For pride. And pride is the exact opposite of humility. Of humility. So with the pride escalating upon the acquisition of material wealth, a person begins to consider himself second only to God. He thinks he's second only to God. And in such an intoxicated state, how could anyone think of the upliftment of the soul, the welfare of the soul? There's no way. Herein lies the reason Kunti asked Sri Krishna for a boon. And she said, Vipadaha Santu Nashashwa Tatra Tatra Jagat Guru Bhavato Darshanam Yatsya Dapunar Bhavadarshanam. So she said, Oh Sri Krishna, if you want to bestow, grant me a boon, please give me, grant me the absence of material wealth. That is what she asked for. So our scriptures are full of examples of personalities who were under the sway of pride caused by excessive worldly wealth. Ravan, Sugriv, King Chitraketu, etc. All of these. And so their examples warn us that sensual attainments cannot and will not are not the answer to the fulfillment of our desires absolutely not and therefore we should not expect to experience happiness Sri Maharaji gives an analogy to describe the condition of our mental state due to this kind of obsession. So the analogy that Sri Maharaji gives us is that of a monkey. Imagine the condition of a monkey possessed by a ghost, drunk on wine, suffering from hysteria, and as if that's not enough, stung by a scorpion. <laughs> 